with Firewire, like the Machionics, connected to a Mac. And remember a couple of caveats. One is any drivers for mixers of that age are most likely going to be legacy drivers, not supported. The beautiful thing about the Machionics i series is that they are plug and play compatible with um, Apple's core audio firewire capability. So you don't actually need a driver. Um, they will just appear as um, audio devices, providing you've got them correctly uh, connected. So that's what we're going to walk through here. First thing you need is a um, firewire cable, obviously. But what you have to do is get a firewire cable that goes from the um, 800 to 400 standard. And so you can see in here, there are two different types of connectors, one on each end. Second thing you need is a firewire to Thunderbolt connector. Now, if you've got an older Apple Mac, and I mean the ones that have Thunderbolt 2 standard, you can see what that looks like here. That's all you'll need along with your Firewire cable. But most people these days probably have a more recent Apple Mac machine, um, whether it's a MacBook, laptop, or a desktop device. And you're gonna have these newer style USB-C ports. And for that, that means you're gonna need a third adapter or a third uh, piece of the chain, which is a Thunderbolt 3 to 2 adapter. Uh, MIDI setup to open up with you of our audio devices in Mac OS. If you don't know how to find that, easiest thing to do is go to search audio MIDI setup and that will open up this app. And then you can look uh, as it says here at your audio devices. I've actually got two Machionics connected at the moment. Start with the bigger mixer, which is the 1640i highlighted here. And as you can see, if I can click on inputs, it shows me 16 inputs, 16 outputs. You can also select your sample rate here. Uh, mine's at 40, I'm going to leave it there. Same thing on the 1620i, it has the same number of inputs, 16. The main difference is outputs only has two. So if you want to do, for instance, summing, from you know door channels back into your mixer then the 1640 gives you a much more option to you know split up your tracks and sum them all through the mixers um, channels eqs whatever you want to do outboard effects before uh, mix down whereas the um the smaller mixer 1620 only has stereo coming back out of your door into the uh, mixer for whether that be playback, monitoring, or summing purposes. If those are uh, lit up there, and uh, you can see all the inputs and outputs that should be there, then you know the system has recognized the mixer's audio interface. You can then go into your door of choice. Here I've got Ableton. Go into the settings for your audio. You want to choose whichever mixer you're going to work with. I've already created an aggregate device for the two mixer setup. Most people though are just going to choose one or one or the other. So I'm just going to go in and select the 1640i as my in and out. So you can see it's giving me 16 ins and 16 outs. And I've already done all selections, but if these aren't already lit up, you need to select all the ins and outs um, to make them active. And once you've done that, for both the input and the output configuration. You can then begin assigning a track to the relevant ins and outs. You can see uh, within the track selections here, this is showing me all my available inputs. And so I've already set up the actual tracks, Onyx 1, 2, 3, etc. But um, you just do that uh, manually and then go in and assign you can assign it in any way you want, but obviously, logically, you want it laid out to kind of mirror the mixer itself. So we now have in the door, and I've made a group there just to be able to collapse them, 1640i opens up, and I have tracks 1 to 8 all set up, ready to start putting some signals through. 
Okay, for the purpose of the demonstration, I've got the RD9 drum machine because it's got um, separate outs. So as you can hear at the moment, there's the kick drum going out from the RD9 into the Mackie's channel one. Channel two has the snare on. Channel three's got a low tom. Four's got a rim. Five's got the clap. Six has got the hats. Seven has crash. And eight has the mono kind of mix, which is basically the remaining sounds. So the other toms and, um, and cymbals coming through there. 